When you're going through bone cancer, it is your world is turned upside down. It's not like anything you'll have ever experienced before in your life. It's very hard to explain, but when you're 16, it's the last thing you expect. You, you, you kind of think that cancer is only some of that older people get. So to be diagnosed with cancer at 16 was a, a huge shock. The most emotional thing is I found was anger. Why me? Well, at the end of the day, is why not you? I don't think you're ever going to know how you're going to feel until you're in that situation yourself. I think, for me, I felt immense shock at being diagnosed um, at cancer at the age that I was. Um, but I also felt relief because for so long I'd been in so much pain. Um, I didn't know what was wrong with me and I felt that I was going mad and that I'd been banging my head against a wall because it was very frustrating feeling that I wasn't being listened to by medical professionals. Clearly, getting a diagnosis of primary bone cancer is very difficult. Um, it's a very difficult time for someone who's affected, and it's a very difficult time for their families. Um, they're then faced with a diagnosis of cancer. They're faced with having to go through uh, long periods of drug treatment, often many months of treatment. And then at some point, usually in the middle of that treatment, uh, they stop to have an operation. If you're struggling, ask for help. Whether it's support, for whatever reason, um, if if you're, having, if you're struggling with eating, find out how you can eat better. If you're struggling with drinking because you've got a mouthful of ulcers, find out how you can do it better. And the one really important thing is, if you're in pain after your surgery, and if you're in pain before your surgery, ask for help. I've had to go through a lot of things, both physically and mentally. I mean, losing your leg to bone cancer, that's a major physical thing that'll just affect you for the rest of your life. It can feel very lonely. I spent a long time in hospital without even coming home. Um, very, very difficult because it was far away from home, so it wasn't easy for my friends and family to come up and see me. After my treatment, I felt physically absolutely shattered. I'd never known tiredness like it. I spent sort of days on end in bed, didn't even have the energy to get down my own stairs. Um, but one of the major positives of the treatment was that it stopped this pain that I'd been in for so many months so psychologically it was really positive for me that actually the chemo felt that it was killing the cancer and stopping this pain that I'd been in. I think as time goes on and you start your treatment and things you kind of learn to live with it a bit and it gets a little bit easier 